Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. Today is oregano. Now this is maybe not an oil you go to all the time, but we're gonna learn some uses for it. I am Sabrina Manis, silver leader with doTERRA. All that simply means is I love helping people get started with essential oils. So we're in our book from Oil Life oregano see the beautiful leaves now oregano is going to be steam distilled from the leaves so that's probably a pretty easy one to know this is our big bottle 250 drops in our big bottle oregano is going to be strong resolving and powerful this powerful and potential essential oil packs a punch it is helpful against antibiotic resistant bacteria whoa uh, we love oregano. Now, who doesn't want to smell like pizza, right? Just kidding. Maybe you don't want to smell like pizza. So you can use this on the bottom of your feet. Nobody will ever know. This is a hot oil. So if you're ever going to use it on your skin topically, like the bottom of your feet, please, please, please dilute with fractionated coconut oil. Um, now, not every oil has to be diluted, right? In Frank's video, we talked about how Frank can, be, can go on neat but oregano cannot, it is hot. So always dilute Frank. If you happen to forget and you don't dilute oregano, but you put it on your skin and you're like, ah, then just make sure you grab fractionated coconut oil or some kind of oil and put that on your skin. Never, never, never run to water. So I had a friend one time that was having some digestive issues and rubbed frankincense all, or not frankincense, oregano all over her tummy. Well, her tummy turned bright red. And so then she was like, what do I do? And I'm like, get fractionated coconut oil on it. So um, make sure you run to fractionated coconut oil, not water, okay? Same if you ever happen to get oil in your eye Get a Kleenex, put fractionated coconut on the uh, Kleenex, hold it up to your eye and it will draw it out. So that's why we always dilute. So oregano, you're gonna wanna make a veggie cap cocktail with this guy. Put two to three drops in a veggie cap, take it internally. It's gonna support a healthy immune system. But while you're taking it internally, it's also gonna support healthy respiratory function, promote a positive mood, nervous system, like it's gonna touch a lot of your system. That's one of the things I love about oils. Even if you accidentally used the wrong oil for something, the oils are designed to know what to do in our bodies. So if you put oregano on the bottom of your feet diluted, it gets into your system in about 20 seconds. It does its job. You don't have to put it on the exact area. You can always use the bottom of your feet. You can take a, a toothpick and put it into that little orifice, dip it down, and then stir it into spaghetti sauce or meatloaf, any of your cooking that you want some flavoring. Maybe one drop is too much, so just use that toothpick to season your cooking. Don't forget to use your oils. Oils are way more potent than the dried herb. So it doesn't take very much to do a lot of flavoring. Along with better dietary and exercise patterns, oregano can contribute to better overall health and wellness. It supports the health of the cardiovascular system. It provides a powerful antioxidant support. Add a few drops of oregano to fractionated coconut oil for a soothing massage. Now, oregano is not going to be a scent that everybody loves, and that's okay. That's why there's so many different oils. So it can you can find one that suits you. Oregano is going to blend well with bergamot, clary sage, cypress, grapefruit, sandalwood, and vetiver. Always keep it diluted, but then you can combine it with other oils. So how do you like to use oregano? I personally love to cook with it, and I love to use it to support my immune system. I'll talk to you later.